What's going on guys? It's been a minute since we've listened to some more Spirit Box. We're going to jump back in here and listen to the Mar Effect. We're listening to part two today. Now I listened to part one. It was the official video and so many of you said the live performance here, here at Silverside Sound was so much better. So I've jumped here to uh, about where part two would start because they've got one, two, and three all in the single video. So I'm just going to be checking out part two today on this live section and I'll be checking out part three another day. Um, so I believe I'm at the, the right spot, and I'm super excited to hear what they sound live. So let's get right into it. Video in the background. My God, her voice is amazing. This is live. Oh, this took a turn. changes in here. Amazing drum work. That note, what the heck? Oh my God, they're incredible live. What the heck, they're so good. That is satisfaction. Kick work too. The pace changes are throwing me off. Oh my god, nice. I love how profound the bass is in their band. So profound. So I gotta ask, do they use some sort of like a, uh, some sort of like a loop station or something for the guitar work? Because they've only got the one guitarist, but there's obviously some lead guitar stuff and some rhythm guitar stuff. So they've gotta like be looping some of it, right? I'm not exactly sure how they do that because I don't know a whole lot about that instrumental wise. But I, I just, I love the instrumentation in this band. And I think it's because they do kind of keep it simple. I mean, they do have the one guitarist, one bassist, and one drummer. So a lot of it really sort of stands out. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Oh, that's nice. 
that scream one last time here that ending scream oh my I went too far I'm gonna listen to it again I went too far I'm sorry I want to hear that god the echo makes it so much better Part two, Spirit Box, live here at the Silverside Sound Studio. I mean, that was freaking amazing. They are so good. That sounded like a studio recording to me. Um, it was just absolutely incredible. Love the instrumentation. They kept they kept throwing me for a loop there, though. They kept switching up the pace. Um, it it would speed up, then it would slow down, then speed up, then slow down. I'm like, what the heck are they doing with my groove? But it still sounded really, really freaking amazing. And of course, Courtney here. Ah, oh, voice of an angel, voice of a demon. So, so talented. And man, I am so glad we got a little bit of that, a little bit of that demonic stuff there at the very end with those big, big screams. And I'm really happy that they put that slight, like, echo to it because it made it, it made it really feel like, and maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe there was no echo. Maybe it was just the room that they were recording in, but it really sounded like she was just yelling like down a hallway and it made it so much bigger and oh, oh, it was satisfying. This was freaking amazing. I'm going to be checking out part three here from the same video um, at another time, but I'm super excited for that. Be on the lookout for that. And as always, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.